If you are looking for a solution to test, run, and block potentially malicious programs then Sandbox is to your help. So what exactly is Sandbox? Sandbox is the process of running a protected, isolated environment, that is uncoupled from the OS and infrastructure, in its immediate surroundings with the aim of testing code, and examining malware. It is commonly used to analyze unknown or unsafe code, with the goal of preventing the potential threat from accessing the network. Sandboxing technique, offers the following benefits. Prevent zero-day attack. Enhances other security programs. Enable hybrid solutions. Small collaboration with remote staff. Supports vulnerability reviews. Now what is Windows Sandbox? You can execute Windows apps securely, in a secluded area by using the temporary, lightweight, desktop environment known as Windows Sandbox. If you have not subscribed to our channel yet, then do subscribe. Prerequisite needed for Windows Sandbox Windows 10 Pro, Enterprise, Education Build or Windows 11 AMD 64 or ARM 64 architecture Enable virtualization capabilities in BIOS At least 4GB of RAM, 8GB recommended At least 1GB of free disk space at least two CPU cores. Let's check if virtualization is enabled in Windows Task Manager. In the Task Manager Performance tab, under the CPU check if virtualization is enabled. How to enable virtualization on your computer? First, go to BIOS. Depending on the manufacturer of your BIOS, after entering into BIOS, you have to find the section for your CPU configuration. Depending upon your system, you may find names like Intel Virtualization, Hyper-V, Vanderpool, SVM. From the Windows search bar, search for Turn Windows Features On or Off. Scroll down, and check mark Windows Sandbox, from the Windows Features panel, and click OK. After the changes are completed, restart your computer. Now we can test Windows Sandbox. Click the Start menu or search bar, and search for Windows Sandbox. Windows Sandbox will be opened after that. You will eventually see that, a fresh instance of your host machine, has appeared before your very eyes. Now you can experiment in your Sandbox. Windows Sandbox enables network connection by default. Whatever you are doing and maintaining in your sandbox, is a temporary instance. Keep in mind that it won't be preserved for later usage, anywhere else on your host computer.